Hey everyone, it's Lens Addict here, and today I've got with me the M3 Pro MacBook Pro, and I'm gonna unbox it. Uh, but before we unbox it, let's have a quick look at the specs. So here are the specs on the one that I got. It's the base model for the 16 inch, and I got it in the new color, which isn't labeled on here. <laughs> as far as I can see, but it's the uh, Space Black, or I think that's what it's called. Anyway, let's open the box and have a look what this has got inside. Pretty cool uh, image on the front. Well, yeah, let's have a look, see what this product's got to give. All right, let's have a look what's in the box. So, we've got some blue tabs. Let's give them a pull. Nice. Now we'll do the second pull tab. And now we'll lift the top off. Let's have a look. Oh, a little hole for the Apple logo the box. That's new. Here is the laptop. Looks really nice. Smells just like all the other MacBook Pros that have come out in the past few years. Yeah, let's do some close-up shots of the device soon. But for now, let's see what else is in the box. So, wow, we've got a new cable color. Pretty cool to see. Um, for the charging, that's cool. I like that color. And what else have we got? I assume we got some cool stickers. Yeah, look at that. Cool stickers. Um, as we got uh, the normal 140 watt USB C charger. See if any of the specs have changed. Uh, looks like these are the specs on the charger. Well, that's it, there's not much else in the box. Let's have a look at the laptop. I don't think it'll ever be this clean. It's already got fingerprints. We got that traditional little cover for the screen. We'll get rid of that. And it's a really cool color. I actually really like it. Um, it's nice to see it in person versus on the demos on the Apple website. I wonder if there's any other differences. It looks like the, the ports and everything look the same. Yeah, it's the same chassis. Uh, the vents, everything looks the same. Pretty cool to see though, cool colors. Let's do some cool little shots of the, the display. The OS contains a built-in oh. screen reader. Don't want that. I believe we can actually see the speaker cutouts from this angle. So that's where one of the speakers is, you can. And then there's your mics over here, the three mic array. And on this side, it's got the same. So it's much more obvious uh, with this gray blackish color. You can see where the speaker holes are much more clearly. Don't think that was intentional, but it's cool to see. Um, Keys on the keyboard all look the same. The vent system looks the same too with the vents venting up the screen and then underneath the laptop as well. So I'm gonna get this laptop set up and then uh, once it's set up, I'll do some benchmarks and yeah, leave in some comments below anything you wanna see and I'll, um, I'll address it in a future video. So we're migrating from this Mac to this Mac and we're using Thunderbolt 3 
and we're getting about 500 megabytes a second. So that's a pretty cool data migration um, feature on the Mac. It takes it says it's going to take about half an hour. To be fair, I have a few hundred gigs worth of video footage, and I think that is what is making it take so long. Um, yeah, but yeah, we got going to transfer um, like all my drone footage and my YouTube. Um, this is the footage of my channel. It's going to be done in about 30 minutes. And I just click a few buttons, connect a Thunderbolt cable. Uh, yeah, pretty cool. It also does it over Wi-Fi, but I suspect it's a lot slower over Wi-Fi. So I would recommend using a Thunderbolt 3 or Thunderbolt 4 cable and just connecting your Mac together and using Migration Assistant. So here's what the migration did. Damn, we couldn't transfer Bluetooth latest PKLG, that is fine. Uh, and on the other Mac, it says migration completed. So this is the Mac that we transferred from to this one. Uh, yeah, migration completed. Nice. Now it's doing iCloud setup, and I think we are gonna be pretty much done, which is great. Uh, looks like it's running the screen behind, that's London. Pretty cool wallpaper, I think if we lock the screen. Yeah, it comes a video. Surprised they got, um, this must have been a helicopter. Anyway, that shouldn't get distracted. <laughs> so out of the box, this came with 14.1 and looks like there's a 14.1.1 update. So we'll agree and uh, let's update it before we do our testing. Installing the latest version of macOS. Let's have a look at the battery stats. It's done two load cycles already. Uh, I guess we look at Mac info. Mm, not readable. Mm, doesn't even get the manufacturer date anymore. It's a bit disappointing. Here are the benchmark results comparing the 16 inch 2021 MacBook Pro versus this new M3 one. And it's not as big of a difference as you would think. Um, some of the benchmarks are like 25% more, but some of them are only 10% of an improvement versus the M1. Uh, with multi-core, it's a bit more of a difference with some things. Um, like, but file compression, it's only a 5% increase. Um, so yeah, it's interesting, the results. This is the GPU results, and GPU is also not as much as I expected, um, being only about looks about 90 sorry looks about 10 15 percent more and in some things it's slower than the m1 uh, which is a surprise to me i actually thought it would be faster in every metric but yeah feel free to pause and have a look at these results if you want to see the differences uh, they're both the same base spec m1 and m3 pro It's interesting that this new MacBook Pro makes the Space Gray MacBook Pro now look silver. So it's kind of fun to see that. I hope you all enjoyed this little unboxing and first look at the M3 MacBook Pro. Um, my first impressions are that it's a really good MacBook Pro and it gets, uh, it's really fast. It supports the new Wi-Fi 6E standard, whereas the M1 MacBook it only supports Wi-Fi 6. Um, it is faster, but it's not as fast as Apple makes out to be. Like the base model M1 MacBook Pro versus the base model M3 MacBook Pro. We're just comparing the 16 inch ones here. Um, running Geekbench, it's like a 15% to 20% difference, which is actually not much given it's not just one upgrade, but it's two, uh, which is actually pretty dismal year-on-year -year upgrades, I guess. You know, it's not like the doubling performance or the 30, 40% performance increases we might've seen in the past, uh, but it is better. Um, I'm enjoying the new webcam is, it's slightly improved. It's not like, I think it's a software improvement. I'm also enjoying the um, Wi-Fi 6E because I live in a unit and there's lots of um, neighboring Wi-Fi. So the six gigahertz Wi-Fi channel is much less congested and yeah, it's really flawless. No dropouts, goes through the walls fine. It's been good. Um, what else? 
I'm not enjoying the high price, but I am enjoying the new color and the new cable for this laptop. Um, what else? I actually can't think of that many big differences. Honestly, if you have an Apple Silicon MacBook Pro, um, unless you have like the 13 inch M1 where you can only do one monitor out, this laptop is, is great, but I don't think it's worth upgrading for. Uh, the battery life's similar. It is faster, but it's not noticeable. Like it's not as noticeable as it was from Intel to Apple Silicon. Even the fastest Intel 16 inch MacBook Pro fully spec versus the base model M1 was a big noticeable difference. But this I am not noticing, like the M3 versus the M1, I'm not sitting there going, wow, it's so fast. Everything's loading quicker now. No, I'm not, not noticing that really. It seems very similar loading web pages, editing videos, that kind of stuff. So yeah, I don't think it's a huge upgrade. I reckon wait for the M4 or the M5 or whatever, if you have an M1, unless you know, you really need that 20, 30% increase. I'll show the benchmark results on screen. I hope you all really enjoyed this video. If you want to see more content, on this laptop, just give a comment below and I'll do a follow up video um, addressing your comment, unless it's like really silly comment. Some of the comments are like, you didn't actually review that laptop or you didn't test that camera. And I'm like, yes, I did. I have it in my hand. Um, anyway, see you all in the next video. Thanks for watching this video. I uh, hope you all have a great day. Lens Addict out.